we're rolling. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharice and I am a stay-at-home mom, homeschooling mom, and my content, whoop, sorry, something is in my eye. And <laughs> my content is basically, I think I'm more so geared towards the homeschool content and some mom life stuff. So if this is what you are interested in, keep watching. And that's the part where people cut and they go into whatever. But anyways, I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. I do like making fast videos, um, well, s short videos, just, you know, to get down to the point. And then, like I said, I'm a mom. I have four kids, one of them being an infant, the other one a toddler. So, unlimited time here. Now, excuse the mess, but there is a purpose for this mess. In today's video, we're going to do some unboxing and some unbagging of school supplies. And I'm making a school supply video one because school supply shopping, I love school supply shopping. I am all about school supply shopping. I'm, we're not over here swimming in dough, but I try to make sure, um, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I try to make sure I budget and I shop, um, I can't think of the word. But I try to make sure when I shop, I do it well to save money and get more bang for my buck. I don't have scissors, so this is going to be fun. Okay. Yep, we're doing this. So, one, I have a lot because I love shopping through Target. I shop through my app and I do pickup, which is super convenient because the one thing I don't like about school supplies, I wonder if this works. If this works, okay, it doesn't work. It's a Play-Doh cutter. Fine, I had a Target. But one of the things I love about um, Target, the app, is you can do your pickup order. Because I don't like shopping with crowds. I cannot stand it and my anxiety just go, whoo. Okay, so first box. Really? I did a shipment of things that they weren't able to put on my pickup order. So I am actually kind of salty on why they stuck this one box of crayons. These cost, I think, 25 cents. So, yeah, you can save some money, will, and deal there. I know some people like to shop at the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree for everything but school supplies because you save my money, like I said. One, uh, 25 cents. And I got this one for my toddler and for my son who will be doing straight up homeschooling this year. So they can have some school supplies too, you know? That's my son who's going to his hybrid school. So if you're new here, hybrid school is he goes part-time private and he's part-time homeschool. And we still go at our pace. So let's get into it. I have bubble thingies. This box. Oh, this came right on time. I didn't even check my pickup order thing yet, but because my son start, starts school tomorrow, so we have this bento box for his lunches. This is one he picked out on the app. We have one, like we have an old one. He mentioned that, but I was like, eh, buddy, didn't you say it's hard for you to open and close? And he said, yeah, it is a little tough. Um, I failed to pay attention to the reviews, but that's the thing. He has some scissors, student scissors. I thought this was cool, the blue. And they're big kid scissors. He's going into the fifth grade. Which, by the way, I love buying my kids big kid scissors and um, just things more of their age group. And it's funny because I'm just, I was just going through my son's backpack from last year. Like, all food stuff was taken out, but I was going through his supplies so I wouldn't rebuy anything. And I look, and this boy came home with some scissors that was made for a kindergartner. And I was like, well, I didn't even buy these. Like, what? And it was the last day of school because we check his box every um, week, his school supply box, um, as one of his checkoffs at his school to make sure they have all their supplies and ready to go. And so I'm like, the last day of school, if you come home with some kindergarten scissors, who's, whose scissors are these? But anyways, I digress. They need highlighters. And sorry if I'm talking fast. So we have to have a pack of highlighters. Uh, Washable markers. This is for my other, my homeschooling son and my, well, my homeschooling son. He'll be the one using those markers. More markers, Crayola. And by the way, I think these cost 
think these were like in the 50 cent range, so that's not bad. They're on sale, and these were like 99 cents. So all of these things I got for less than a dollar, except for the Sharpies. I think I paid like two dollars for those. Um, my son needs a folder for his class. A notebook. So we got a notebook. Yeah, I remember buying this notebook. So that's it for what was shipped to me. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Let's get into it. So he has his paper, his notebook paper, to go into his binders that we already have. I did not buy new binders because, like I said before, I was going through his things from last year. And that's another thing to um, I'll bring up to save money on school supplies. Check your child's stuff from last year. You don't have to keep buying new every year. I mean, I used to be that person. We end up with a bunch of folders and just a lot of things we weren't using. So save money. And my kids are all for it because they know that money's going to go to Chick-fil-A or something. So he needs mini dry erase markers. So we have those. Um, and I end up all this total, I think I'm going to spend them 50 seven dollars maybe 58 so it's not bad for everything that we got he needs sharpies and keep in mind i'm homeschooling three kids this year so um these are for my homeschooler my fourth grader i this is the only brand of pencil i use but my fourth grader he wanted these because of the light blue in there that's his favorite color um, Hues of You, that's also the Mondo crayons. And I think these I actually paid two something and some change. But that's not bad because my top, my kids, all of them, they can color with this because everybody, you know, we are in all different shades. So, you know, why not? Um, color pencils, he needs that for school. I should separate these. I will separate them later. Oh, I bought these for myself. These pens are so cool. They were on the pricey side for my budget because I don't like to spend a lot of money for pens, especially we get free pens everywhere we go. But I bought my husband a more manly, see, looking pen set and they write really well and he loves it, so I bought myself We have color pencils. Uh-oh. Okay, that's baby in the background just in case, but also for my homeschooler. Um, mini stapler. My son needs that for school. Okay, so I have two note cards because I did not know what kind of note cards he would. It just said note cards with line, and I'm just that parent. Well, I was like, oh, it's colorful, but he probably will need plenty. But we have both, just in case he needs both. They're here. More Mondo. And yes, I bought the Mondo kind versus Crayola for my homeschoolers. One, because I just wanted to try the quality of them. And two, they, were, um, they weren't that expensive because we still have some markers and crayons and stuff. This is just the filler. But um, the Crayola stuff I bought for my son going to school because they do use it at school. And I like to use quality products for my child to make them last longer. And don't feel bad if you can't, like, if it's just not in your budget, please don't feel like you're a terrible parent or anything. We work with what we have. This is just what I prefer, and this is what I budget with throughout the year. Like, yes, it's a big deal for me. I know when school is starting. It's nothing new. I know when the school supply list is going to come out. We've been doing this for, let's see, my boys have been at their, well, even before they started their hybrid school, I have a fourth and fifth grade. So we've been doing this for some years now. So I know by this time I need this amount of dollars. So like I said, if you if it's not in your budget, please don't feel bad. Work with what you have and feel great about it because you are, you got school supplies. Your kid has supplies. Um, I have some glue sticks. <laughs> glue sticks. Um, more Crayola markers the thin ones and then we have post-it notes because at their school they use post-it notes and it, these are so cool this is the i think beach side okay it doesn't say it on here but each of them had their own little theme and this is the one my son picked out for his theme i thought that was really cool beachy more 
glue sticks. I should have bought more because kids go, man, they run through glue sticks like it is nothing. So, if your school supplies list says get this many, just know you're going to need more by the next semester. Just go ahead, put like some a quarter or two to the side, start saving because they will need it. Target was my best friend as we got towards the end of the first semester last year because I was like replenish, replenishing like crazy. And next, my world. Okay, thank you. Um, my favorite pencil. Um, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, in black, I let my son pick them out. He picked out the black ones. That's what he loves. And that is it for this school supply haul. Did I even say school supply haul in the beginning? I don't know, my brain is everywhere. It's been super busy, it's been super crazy. Back to school time is a crazy time for us because um, we have like different parent orientation. We have meet the teacher, we have this, we have that. I mean, everything just to get back in gear. And I know I'm missing some things. I have to email some um, people and turn some stuff in that I did not do like medical information, all that stuff for school. But, um, and then we also were recently out of town. We went back to my, our home state of Michigan. We took a road trip. It took us about two days there and back. So still trying to recover from that and get my house back in order because it looks like chaos right now. Um, yeah, we had some, yeah, it's just been, crazy like our dog has been sick when we got her back from boarding and so we're just getting back in a groove of things so yeah like I said this video is super fast my brain is just like on 50 million other things but I wanted to get this video out to you now because also my son needs to use his school supplies I have to get those in order tonight because school starts tomorrow and I keep forgetting about that so Bree <laughs> and by the time this comes out it'll probably be like weeks into his school supply I mean his starting of school so whatever also at as, as i mentioned before you know saving money um look for the great deals you don't have to go to dollar tree i know dollar tree is great because things are a dollar 25 now that quarter something about that quarter is just don't feel right with me but and i love me some dollar tree don't get me wrong i love the dollar tree but if you want to get more bang for your money i would highly recommend target because target's my jam and if you have the target app just go on there and see because sometimes they have deals for people who have the app or you can check out Walmart. Walmart is also a good place that I go to um, when Target just doesn't have everything that I need or if they're out of something, then I'll go to Target. Like, I mean, I'll go to Walmart super early in the morning. I'm talking like 7 a.m. if they're open that early and I go through there and I just get whatever I need to replenish and then um, shop at home, whatever you need. Like, I don't have... Um, ink pens for my son because we have tons of ink pens here ink pens that he actually liked to where um, he, we were given like uh, free ink pens or whatever that he uses and he thinks they write really well he's like mom I'll just use that if I have to have a blue or black, black ink I'll just use that and I'm like yeah you will um, where we're using his um, backpack or tote whatever you want to call it from last year it still works it still looks good if he wants to add flair to it he can and the good thing is he can use it throughout the rest of the year as long I mean um, until he graduates or we don't go to that school anymore um, or until the wheels fall off he can just rock it so you don't have to go out here and get the new backpack you don't please don't be don't let the the world around you intimidate you or make you feel less than because your child does not have um the brand new thing they don't need the brand new thing okay some people are really like risking all just for the brand new thing you don't as long as it's nice items if your kid's happy with it like okay this is cool it'll work with me go for it and that's also too like the folders i was showing you i started off the gate getting my kid playing notebook and playing folders yes they do have some decorative ones but that's for home not for school I do not get those for school I get those for home and so they're used to that and yeah just save your money shop at home do what you can take advantage of back to school backpack giveaways those are also great as well 
You could get, if you need a light backpack, like we've never been able to use those backpacks because our kids, um, you know, with homeschooling and then their school, they have a lot of um, stuff they need to carry at the same time. So that's just something we don't, but we do use it for trips and stuff. But they do supply pencils, they do supply notebooks, they do supply erasers, they do supply crayons. And you can use all that. And the pencils may not be the ones like what I have, but like I said, still use it, do it. Get the pencils, get it done, okay? So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoy it and I will see, I hope you have a great school year. Please be patient with our teachers because they are, you know, they're, they're dealing with our kids and our kids plus uh, 19, 20 more. So, you know, give some grace, help out where you can with our teachers and just know that they're doing their best with what they have. And I hope you all have a great school year and I will see you all in my next video.